Hi everyone, it's the Mixed Chick. Today I am doing a review on a much long-awaited product. It is the sequel to Urban Decay's Naked Palette. Probably one of the best-selling, most well-known among makeup lovers everywhere. Uh, it was a great, was, I'm acting like it's dead. It's not dead, it is still alive and kicking. I'll have you know. It is a great um, collection of not your typical taupes, nudes, you know, things that you would find in a palette that's meant for that kind of thing. This is much more fun. It's got color, it's got metallic, it's, it's I'd say, your modern nudes, your modern go-tos. So, uh, very, very popular. I got mine about six months ago and I absolutely adore it, and there were many, many rumors of a second one coming out. I started seeing pictures uh, late last year, and couldn't wait, couldn't wait, and sure enough, I got my Ulta flyer, and lo and behold, it made the cover. So I guess that's really big as far as palettes go. So here it is. Uh, it's a little different looking, as you can see. Bigger mirror, different brush, I'll get to all that later. Um, basically what you're getting is a cooler palette to play with as opposed to something a little bit warmer. Um, right away I know a lot of people think, oh, I must be, you know, I like warm colors. Oh, I like cool colors. I am usually the person who likes warm colors, but I have to say this palette had some surprises in store for me. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have gotten it. I really had to see the colors in person to know the differences. So here are the ones that are exclusive to this palette only. You have Booty Call, Tease, Snake Bite, Busted, and Pistol. Awesome colors. Busted and Snake Bite I actually have on right now with Half Baked, another color that is actually in both palettes. Um, since I probably won't be carrying around both at the same time, I think that's actually pretty good that they have it in both palettes. I love that color. Again, I have that on too. So I happen to love it. Now, the mattes I find in the Naked 2 palette to be much more pigmented. I don't know, I, I wasn't crazy about the mattes in the Naked palette. I was really using it for all of the, the shimmers and the metallics and the satins. This uh, Foxy and Blackout I really like. Tease, which is the new uh, exclusive shade, doesn't tickle my fancy. But uh, that's alright. I mean, there's so many other colors in here that are amazing. Um, what else? The brush. As I said before, the brush is a double sided this time, a little doohickey, um, with a dome brush, which is awesome. I believe they're cruelty free as well, so no animals were harmed in making of this brush. So I really like that, the little fibers and everything. Again, I would actually use this in the regular naked palette and take out my dome brush. And now what do I have to? Awesome. What else? Uh, the samples that came with them. Again, nah, Urban Decay is not dumb. They say, let's include in this fabulous package. You're also getting, you know, a sample of eyeshadow primer potion. This came with potion. Can I speak? <laughs> this came with the first one. Um, everybody raves about this product. I've seen it everywhere. Different shades, sizes colors, I'm not a fan. It creases for me, and I don't know what it is, but I'm glad I got the sample so I know how it works for me. With the Naked 2 palette, they went a little step further and gave you lip junkie. I'm like, why are you putting a lip product? Why? Because now I like it. I'm wearing it. It looks great. It complements everything. They got me wanting their lip glosses. Well played, Urban Decay. Well played. <laughs> Alright, so basically the main idea of these two beautiful palettes is to get gorgeous, super blendable colors that 
you can play with. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I would say, again, if you lean more towards warmer colors, go with the original. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fantastic. Again, they're more like sisters, I'd say, than, than sequels. You don't prefer one over the other. Or you better not. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually liking that I got both because this Naked 2 palette basically gives me the opportunity to play with some cooler colors, which normally I wouldn't do. So, thank you Urban De Ge Decay. <laughs> Congratulations on a, another job well done. I'm kind of curious if they're going to go for a third round, but let's not get too hasty. But if they do, please, Urban Decay, if you are listening to me in some wild fashion. Um, more mattes would be nice. Um, pigmented mattes. Really something you could sink your teeth into. Um, that'd be fun. Right now I'm just going to go probably spend hours playing with all my new colors. <laughs> Have fun. And, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.